every day of the week. Sue Pierce was a farmer, but she was drawn to open a traditional tea house in Fernvale in a building that has had many other lives. The Fernvale Hall was built in 1934 and was home to dances, travelling picture shows and church services. We were wondering if the ceiling, if the roof was the original line. Oh. And a lady came in one day and she said, my brother and two friends put the iron on the hall and they wrote their name on a sheet of iron before they put it up. So I went looking for it and we found it. It's just over there and it's got oh, the names. How and lovely. Yeah. Sue has sourced different pieces from around the world to create an Aladdin's cave of colour and texture. We have respite groups come here and nine out of ten of the ladies will pick the cups up and have a look at the brands underneath <laughs> <laughs> just to check that it's the real thing. Oh. <laughs> If you're looking to create some stories or memories of your own, I can't recommend enough going for a drive along the Brisbane Valley Highway. You can pick up suggestions about what else to do by getting in touch with the Fernvale Visitor Information Centre. The Workshops Rail Museum in Ipswich has a fantastic array of activities on offer. As